All right, but I wanted to move forward to the game time. You know, we're running a little close on time. I think it's the perfect time to go ahead and drop it. Um, personally, I was thinking about uh, going with the game called Who You Picking? Podcast Edition. And so what I'm what I'm envisioning with this little game is this a way for us to really get to see what niggas think about their podcast mates. Since we are both separate podcast groups with about five members apiece, I made it so it's like, hey, it's you, and you get to pick two more members of your podcast to be with you during this certain anime situation. Who are you picking and why? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna give y'all the first scenario that I put you in. Y'all stuck on Gracefield. Gracefield Farms from Palmer's Neverland. Oh, shit. You get to pick two of your niggas from the podcast to be with you. <laughs> Who you <laughs> pick to help you get out this motherfucker and why? All right. I, I'll go first because he, 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 I don't think he heard the question. So I heard the question. Uh, I'm 100 picking, picking Zeno. Me, because we was, we was watching that. I'm like, hey, bro, how would you? Because we were talking about slavery, talking about escaping a long time ago. So, <laughs> so me and Zeno and, uh, Shoot, I'm I'm not picking Leo. Leo will get us killed. <laughs> <laughs> hey I'm boss, trying they trying to sneak out, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, I'm really trying to think about who this third person is gonna be. James, James. Yeah. When he when he is on there, James. Okay. Okay. Uh, anybody else want to go next? Yeah, I'll probably go. So, I'm, I am i ain't gonna lie, I don't watch that much of the Promised Neverland, but I do kind of understand like the whole escaping plot, and I do get that. If I had to pick, I'd probably pick Chris, and I probably have to pick my man Zeno over here because I feel like okay, I've met, I t- I've said that these two are the most wild, but I feel like in a survival situation, they would know how to act, they would know how to move because I'm kind of like. I'm kind of like Leo in a way. I'll be like, I'll be saying stuff I don't mean to say, and we get get caught. They're gonna be the ones to be like, "Hey, yo, shut the fuck, shut up, right now." <laughs> We're gonna get me together. I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna just rock with them." All right, Ooh. all right, but uh, you ready or are we MGG going? I give you a little bit more time, a little bit more time. MGG, what's up? Who you taking? All right, man. So I'll tell you first who I'm not taking. I'm I'm gonna start with <laughs> Jaga as the as the first note. And why do I start with Jugga? Not because I actually like Jugga a lot. Jugga just has too much faith in humanity. So I feel mm-hmm. like at Gracefield, he will buy into the the fact that we just taking tests and niggas is not getting killed. Um, so it would just be hard to convince him to go like, hey, bro, I need you on my side. I need niggas that kind of already had that, like, I don't really believe in the world that much. <laughs> the, second, the second one that I'm not taking is Deuce because while Deuce will believe that the world is not really there, I don't feel like it's going to turn. One, I feel like me and him would debate too much on what the fucking plan was going to be <laughs> that we could never actually execute anything. Because if anybody knows, like me and him, like in the earlier days of the podcast, we had these hour long debates that like everyone else on the podcast would just like not say anything. And we, me and him would just be talking back and forth about our contrary opinions that may even be saying the same thing. So I feel like we would just be standing there planning shit for, and it would go nowhere. We'd just fucking die. So I pretty much would pick Player 5 and Gramps. One, because Player 5 got the science background. He's a big nigga, and he um, already doesn't trust the world. So I feel like we would be able to discuss a plan and come to a conclusion quickly and execute it because, I mean, they're big niggas, so we'll be able to survive out in the world. Gramps is also another big nigga that can think about <laughs> So it'll basically be like, I don't have a, I'm a big nigga, but I don't have a big nigga strength they got. So we got that backup in case we need to throw hands with some demons. But at the same time, both of them are intelligent. So we can still come to the, the they got the brain and the brawn fusion there. So I feel like that would be perfect to get that plan executed. I just, I just want to like let you know, I'm going to let you finish, but I'm going to fold under pressure, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> if, a de- if a demon come running at me, bro, a demon coming running at me, I- I'm folding. Grant might wrestle that nigga down. You know Grant gonna wrestle that nigga to the ground. Me, I'm folding, boy. I'm, hey, stay over there. Let me have go. I'm not me. I'm, but at least I'm being one hundred with you. 
Wow. Yeah, thanks for receiving me, but we gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Zeno, you up, you up. Okay, so I'm just gonna say one. I feel like in this, so just just the comparison. I feel like if I were to be, you know, what I'm saying in that situation, I'd be more like the Ray, because because if you know how they, uh, it's the rule of three. So you got Emma, which is like the destru- like they all smart, you know, because they all like built just built that way. Mm-hmm. But Emma's more like the the brawn, right? She's more oh, I- I'm gonna kick him in the face, and they're like, wait, let's think about it. Eh, I'm gonna kick him in the face. Um, uh, then you got Norman, who's like the smart guy, but he's not so strong. But like instead of him like kicking him in the face, he might set up a trap and you know get him that way. Uh, and then Ray's supposed to be like the middle. He's supposed to be the middle ground, and he'll. He'll do some little bit of both, like kick him into the trap and then blow some shit up. So, um, I feel like I'm uh, I'll be Ray in regards where, like, okay, I ain't gonna say that. I, w- I ain't gonna say what I want to say because y'all already think I'm a, I'm a cannibal. But I feel like, uh, <laughs> how, how did we get to eating people? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm Ray in that regard where I kind of got a middle ground where it's like I can adapt to a situation. Um, I may not be like. The smartest one there, but like I, I've definitely had to catch on and adapt. Um, mm-hmm. and then Chris, I feel like he be, you know, what I'm saying, not only does he say big girls, he say demons and stuff too. So, <laughs> like, he be more like like the brawn, you know, what I'm saying. Right. All right. So now I got a question for you, Chris. Yes. If somehow, some way, don't ask about how, just somehow, they was like, "Hey, bro, if you fuck this demon, we out." <laughs> Is you gonna put on for the boys and clap demon cheeks? You got a big ass. You say yeah. She got a big ass. No, she absolutely grotesque, my man. Can I at least put a paper bag over that bitch head? Close your eyes. He about to clap the cheeks. He about to clap the cheeks. He about to clap the cheeks. Hey, uh, MGG, you think you take it uh, real quick from here? Yeah, sure. All right, I need a second. All right, to be fair, right? The demons, damn, I don't want to do no spoilers because it's still kind of new. But the demons. I, I, I spit out that, that demon. I'm not going to lie. You're going to clap some It's for our lives, bro. It's for our lives. Okay, well, hey, see, there you go. And that's why you call. Okay, I got it. Oh, you slaying um, the demon. Hey, look. Yeah. Hey, de- Chris the Demon Slayer. There you go. What? Another nickname? Oh, I'm shouting that out. Um. <laughs> I don't know, cause, cause like you see, Leo get us killed. Leo be playing too much. Uh, <laughs> see, Leo know. get us fucking murdered. Look, look, it, yeah, it's decent, but I feel like I feel like it'll be too much. Um, of us just trying to get to the point, and we be like, all right, everybody be like, okay, we gonna do this, right? We gonna jump over the wall, and we gonna jump on. You know what I'm saying? We gonna run down, and we gonna do this. And he be like, well, you know, I, I just think that if we do that. Then we, we could try doing this, and like it'd just be too much of us arguing and not getting to the goal. You feel me? Right, right. Um, all right. Uh, I mean, I think James is cool too. Um, I feel like he he would be like able to think us out of the situation, right? Mm-hmm. Um, if I were to do like the rule of three, it'd probably be him for that. Um. Only because I feel like he'd be like more like the okay, let's sit back, let's think about it, and then execute. Cause right. sometimes I can stop Chris, but not all the time. So I feel like as he clapping them cheeks, some other demon gotta come. And I'm like, hey, hold on, stop. <laughs> He's like, I ain't done yet. And I'm like, oh, here you go. And then you know, I gotta have him like, hey, dude, we both, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's just how it is. Okay. Um, all right. But yeah, man, uh, I, I think we'll survive. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think we survive. Chris, you got to take I, – obviously, you like taking one or two for the team. But look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No, I, I, no, I usually don't take any for the team. But if it's for I'm <laughs> taking it for the team. Let me tell you something. I don't take shit for the team. I don't ever take an L. I don't know about y'all. Right. But there's, mm-hmm. one, there's one demon on there. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm just saying, if I had to do it, I'd do it too. But it's the one demon, just the one. Just all one. Demon is that? Uh, which demon is that? It's the one that's in, is in the the got the blood, the blood. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Okay. Um, I feel like I feel 
feel like she decent. Like she ain't take her mask off, but like instead of me getting a bag, she just keep the mask uh, on. Right? You don't get to fuck one like that. You get you one that one that 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 Oh, okay, right, right. No, I got you. I got you. I, I, um, did everybody uh go? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. My, you didn't say yours though. Oh, me? Uh <laughs> if I'm stuck on Gracefield, uh I'm probably gonna <laughs> I'm probably gonna go maybe Jugga Gramps. Got it. So I feel like Gramps, you know, smart, also athletic, full package, can't beat it. Um, but you know, Jugga will probably ground me because I'll be ready. I'll be like, oh, we're in an apocalyptic scenario. Fuck it. Like I'm Negan, like day one, I'm Negan. You feel me? <laughs> Oh, oh, we in the apocalypse. I'm wrapping my bat up. Like, let's go. Like, so I'm gonna need a nigga like Jugger to be like, hey, y'all, let's not forget our humanity. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna need that for sure.